it's a sad day here on the channel. One of the project cars is no longer with us. It's not Kermit. Little well, buggy's right there. It's not the Mustang. Because that's what you're sitting on top of. Honestly, actually, it wasn't even a car. The two bikes that we were working on have moved on to a new owner. I had to really take a step back and think about it. It was either I fund building the motorcycles or I fund racing the car. It was actually a very easy choice of racing the car nine times out of ten. So that's what we're doing. We are building the car instead of building the bikes. Good decision making by me. The buggy's out here in the sun, looking great as always. Carp gear looks fantastic. Yeah, that's not the importance today. Today we're talking about this car again. And we're talking about the five most important modifications that you should do to your car if you're gonna go take it all across racing. This is from my experience, and my experience alone, not talking to anyone else. This is my opinion. If you have other ideas, make sure you leave them down in the comments. We're just gonna jump right into it and get started today with number one. So of course, the first thing that you think of when you go racing on a track or autocross for a modification is horsepower. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the other first thing that you wanna do when you go track racing, and that is suspension. Now, the suspension that I'm running is SR coilovers, the most hated suspension on any Mustang form for these cars ever. No one likes them, everyone hates them, I disagree. Back in there, I don't know if you can see that, probably can't, probably really dark, but are the coilovers. And for a daily driver, they are stiff. They are very, 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 very stiff. But for track use and for autocross, they are perfect. They keep the body roll to a minimum, they don't allow sway, they're adjustable up and down, and stiffness as well for different courses and for a budget it was really perfect for what I needed other suspension work with sway bars and lower control arms that kind of stuff always a good solid choice to do along with the coilovers but remember when you lower your car you need to get it aligned and that sums up number one there was a big storm last night don't mind how dirty they are but number two is both for looks and for helping you perform it's your wheel and tire setup. A good set of tires can make or break a track event. Now my tires are all seasons. I bought these last winter to just go around town and daily drive. They're not the best for autocross, but they've done their job. If I was gonna run a R888 instead, or any other high performance tire compound, it would drastically change the driving experience. I'm running American Racing VN 870 wheels, which are an 18 by 8.5 with a 235 all around. It's a very small tire compound for autocross, but it works with the suspension setup. There's a lot of mechanical grip that I'm able to achieve this way. A good wheel and tire setup will make or break an autocross event. Remember that. Number three is bracing. Now, on my car, it's a convertible, right? It's not the stiffest chassis because of this. To counteract that, what I've done is there's oil on the ground there. Uh-oh. Anyways, what I've done is I have full, uh, what are they called? Things, stuff. Braces? No. They're things you weld to the bottom of your car. It makes it stiff. Whatever. I have those things on the bottom of my car, running all along here, in, in, and then as well as the styling bar, which connects this side of the car to the other side of the car. This allows the chassis to be much stiffer. There's a lot less flex when I'm going around a corner or launching at the line. Huge difference, again, body roll and body flex will break an event for you. If you are swaying back and forth, it's not fun. And that leads me into number four. A good seat will drastically help you lower your time. If you are flying around the car, fighting to stay in your position, you're distracted and you're losing time. I run a Corbu Forza racing seat with a four point racing harness. It's kind of overkill, I will admit this, but for a budget route, it is one of the best, keep you in place, sturdy, stiff racing seats. Now the harness, it's my personal preference, 
to wear this. It's not necessary. You can wear a regular seat belt. But for the full experience, to keep me really planted against the back of this seat, I chose to run this harness. Now comparing this seat to this seat, it's a whole different ball game. This is a stock V6 Mustang premium seat. It's leather, not a lot of bolstering. This is basically all you got. And it won't keep you in place. I really fought this when I was doing canyon runs with the car groups around here. I was sliding everywhere in my stock seat. But that seat right there completely changed it for me. We can better compare now. This seat, you can see the amount of bolstering there. It's nice, it's a good comfortable seat for a daily driver, but not for racing. Now we'll compare it to this seat with this amount of bolstering. I can fit my whole hand on the side of one of these bolsters and it goes all the way up, harness comes through, holds you right in place. It's a fixed back seat, it's stiff and it really keeps you in place. And this is one of the biggest changes that I would recommend if you are gonna run autocross or go circuit racing or anything. It's a seat that will keep you in place because if you're flying around, you are not focused on driving completely. And one of the best things that you can do to improve your driving at an autocross event is to focus on you. Now, you have to learn your car. The more events you go to, the more you understand where the limits of your suspension is, the limits of your tires, the, the changes and the weight transfer of your car. It's how you will better understand what the car will do. And if you fix the problems that you have with driving, it'll drop your time more than any of these suspension parts because during a race, it's you versus the clock in autocross. There's no one next to you. It's just a timer that starts when you leave the line and a timer that ends when you cross the finish line. It's all about you and the car for those 30 to 50 seconds. Now there's a bunch of different restrictions for the classes that you run. If you're running Cam C or STU or STX or STA with the Miatas and there's a whole bunch of different restrictions there. You can run either a stock class or a modified class. It's what you want to run. If you want to modify your car, modify your car run in the modified class. That's up to you on what you want to do with it. Now this whole entire thing is completely up to you guys. You just have to remember to have fun with what you want to do. I run a V6 automatic Mustang and I'm having so much fun out there running these autocross events. Anything else to say dog? Yes he does. What? What? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Good boy right there. Here go. Go now. Now that the dog has decided to interrupt, I have no idea where I was at. But just remember guys, Always have fun with it. It's you against the clock. There's no prize money involved unless you're going to national events. Just have fun. It's the most important thing. I know this is a shorter video, guys, and I just wanted to make it because I've been getting a lot of questions at events and in the comments about what I've done to the car, really. And I just really wanted to bring you guys along for the ride, bring the top five things that I really think can change your autocross experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciated you spending time with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good one, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, I am giving away a pair of headlights at 10,000 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram at camco2313, just like the channel's name. I'll be drawing the winner from my Instagram once my page hits 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again. I appreciate all your support. Have a great rest of your day. One of the first things you want to run when you're doing autocross is a V8. When you're doing autocross, a huge thing that'll make a difference is a manual transmit. I'm done.
Can't do it anymore.